so let us have a discussion on the one more theorem so this is very very important theorem to find out the angle between the pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 suppose if theta is the angle between the lines represented by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 then cos theta is equal to plus r minus a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square. So not only cos theta sometimes you may be asked to find out tan theta value also. So that will be 2 root of h square minus ab by a plus b mod of a plus b and whereas you can find out sin theta also as we know the tan theta and as well as cos theta cos theta and tan theta. So now this sin theta is equal to we can write tan theta by sec theta so that we can find out uh, the value of sin theta also. But more in rare cases you may be asked to find out tan theta and as well as the tan theta sorry sec theta but in general the most of the cases you may be asked to find out derive the formula for cos theta only. So let us solve this problem now. So proof as follows, let ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 represents, represents the following lines. following lines. Say so one is L 1 x plus M 1 y equal to 0. So equation 1 are you following? L 2 x plus M 2 y equal to 0. So this is second equation. We have L1, L2 is equal to A. This is L1, M2 plus L2, M1 is equal to 2H and M1, M2 is equal to B. So, this we need to remember very carefully. In every theorem, general, in general, L1, L2, L1, M2 plus L2, M1 and M1, M2 values play major role, vital role. So, now, let theta be the angle between 1 and 2. In straight lines, we have already studied how to find out the angle between the two straight lines. So, let me recall the formula. Let theta be the angle between the lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0 then cos theta is given by a 1 a 2 plus b 1 b 2 by root of a 1 square plus b 1 square root of a 2 square plus b 2 square. So that means now let me write the formula also formula here from straight lines we need to recall let theta be the angle between angle between between a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is equal to 0 and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0. Then cos theta is given by the formula a 1 a 2 plus b 1 b 2 root of a 1 square plus b 1 square root of a 2 square plus b 2 square. This is plus or minus you can write. This is the formula. So you might be recollecting this one now. So with the help of this one here see a 1 is for L 1, b 1 is here M 2, a 2 is L 2, b 2 is M 2. Let us substitute here. So therefore, we have cos theta is equal to a1 a2, a1 a2 means l1 l2 
obviously this is m1 m2 by root of l1 square plus m1 square root of l2 square plus m2 square you can check yourself also it's very simple a1 l1 b1 m1 a2 l2 b2 m2 so now let us simplify this one now so plus of l1 l2 plus m1 m2 this can be written as a whole root l1 m m1 square into l2 square and m2 square okay now we need to simplify this one now this equal to we can write okay this we can write plus r minus l1 l2 plus m1 m2 upon root over l1 square into l2 square we get l1 square and l2 square plus l1 square into m2 square l1 square into m2 square easily you can expect next term also that is a symmetric l1 is replaced by l2 m2 is replaced by m1 that's all that means you see m1 square into l2 square l2 square into m1 square plus m1 square into m2 square m2 square so now here you should remember these two terms will be in the form of a square plus b square that we can write a plus b whole square minus 2ab that's all so now this equal to plus r minus l1 l2 plus m1 m2 by root of this we can write l1 l2 whole square whereas these two terms can be written as like this l1 m2 plus l2 m1 whole square minus 2 l1 l2 m1 m2 okay plus the last term we have here that we can write m1 m2 whole square just you see now so why should we like this means in order to substitute the respective values of l1 l2 and l1 m2 plus l2 m1 and m1 m2 only we have very clear here so now the values are being replaced so we get plus r minus a plus b by root over this will be a square plus a plus b whole square okay minus 2ab plus b square here very interesting thing here we need to sorry this one not a plus b whole square so absolutely sorry here now l1 m2 plus l2 m1 is 2h that will be 4h square sorry and minus so we need to regroup the terms a square minus 2ab plus b square is one of the algebraic identity that is a minus b whole square so now we can write this one as like this so this equal to plus r minus a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square so this is the cos theta see cos theta is equal plus r minus a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square so now you will get uh, the conclusion why should we get plus or minus because suppose for example see if the lines uh, intersect like this the angle between the lines is one angle is theta other angle will be 180 minus theta if theta is acute the 180 minus theta will be obtuse so there will be the two angles may be there if the two lines intersect one of the angle is acute and one of the angles will be obtuse so that for acute you will be getting positive sign whereas for obtuse you get a negative sign that means cos theta will be greater than 0 then theta is obviously acute if cos theta is less than 0 negative theta will be obtuse so that means for example if it is specified in the examination that like this if let 
theta be the acute angle between the pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 then cos theta is equal to you need to write clearly the mod of a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square. So, in this theorem you need to remember like that you might have understood this one. If cos theta is greater than 0 theta is acute. If cos theta is less than uh, less than 0 that means negative then it is a up, obtuse angle. For example, cos theta is equal to 0 what does it become? Cos theta is equal to 0 means theta is equal to 90 degrees. Theta is equal to 90 degrees means the given pair of lines represents perpendicular lines. That means, if cos theta is equal to 0 what will happen? So, that means, this value is equal to 0 then a plus b is equal to 0. What is a? x square coefficient. What is b? y square coefficient. If, if the two lines are perpendicular the condition will become condition becomes a plus b is equal to 0 that is nothing but coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0. The converse is also true. Suppose if the coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0 then the angle between the pair of lines is theta is equal to 90 degrees or they represent two perpendicular lines.